Hi everybody, welcome back to the OAG RC. Um, I've been playing around with the shocks and the Rising Fighter and I have taken off the um, JKRC shocks that I had on the back of there and on the front and I've replaced them now with Tamiya CVAs. Now the problem I've got is the front wheels are now a bit lunchboxy, shall we say. So I think what I need to do is just shorten the uh, eyelets that I've put in at the front for the shorter ones and hopefully bring that front end up a little bit. Um, however, um, the stance of it does look slightly improved and obviously I've still got to lay those rear shocks down a bit more which will compress them a little bit too. So that seems to have done and though that now is a lot... Drop test means it's a lot stiffer. Uh, certainly... Those CVAs are working a lot better than those are the ones that I had on there before. Uh, I've gone with the kit oil both front and back, so I might put some heavier oil in the front once I've played about with the alignment a little bit on it. So the next thing is to get it out on the track and give it another test, really. See how it compares to the last oil-filled shock lap. Uh, and then we'll get working on those uh, bent steering arms. Another thing before we go out, I picked up some of this stuff. The Ultimate Friction Eliminator. And, check this out. I sprayed a little bit of that into the bearings at the front of this and it has made a huge difference. Completely transformed the way those front wheels spin. Um, can strongly recommend if you've got wheels, I even put some in the, on the rear bearings and they seem to have loosened up a little bit as well on the back of the gearbox. Um, I think that's great stuff. If you want to get some of that, pop it on your bearings. It certainly loosens all the friction up on the wheels. So we made it back in um, a little bit of footage. I didn't catch the fastest lap, uh, mainly because I only re actually recorded three minutes of running footage, half of which was me flipping it back over because I kept crashing on the jump. Um, but did a 7.41, which is 10th of a second faster than its fastest lap. So I draw the conclusion from that, that either my driving is getting better or the oil-filled shocks actually provided a bit more stability. Now, what I would say about that front end, look, they're not rebounding enough. Now, I don't know whether that's because of the fact that I've got the wrong weight oil in there or whether I need to up the tension on the springs a bit more. But it did handle nicely. Um, I quite enjoyed the drive. Now, what I'm going to do is sort those steering arms out because I don't think those are helping matters at the front. Both sides all bent up and buckled. So we're going to sort those out next. And I'm going to put a high torque servo saver on. Not that I think that's having anything to do with anything. Um, and once we've done that, uh, we're going to change the stance on the back here. And lay those shocks down a bit more so it's not quite sitting as high. Uh, and we'll see if that makes a difference. And then we're going to be on to, to motor time really. Can we just make it go any faster? But I mean... All of that for a tenth of a second so far. Bearings, oil-filled shocks, um, 
and that's all we've managed to get out of it is there's something else that I did as well. Bearings, oil field shocks. Oh, the brace at the back. I'm not sure that brace at the back is actually doing it any favours, if I'm honest. Um, and I might whip that back off. And I think actually with my track, it needs that movement in the rear to cope with the bumps. I actually think it's not quite stable. The back end skips like this a lot more. Um, so whereas when I had that articulation, it seemed to do this a bit more and actually stay a bit more planted. Um, so we might change that. Might change that, might not. Right, onwards. I'm going to get the next set of bits and improvements done and we'll give it a few more laps. So we went up and had a run post adjustments. Now, I couldn't get the high torque servo saver to work, um, but I did manage to put those three mil rods on, you see. The problem I've now got is, as you can see, it rained while I was out having a bit of a run. Um, this side here is now hitting against, when it turns, uh, which way? This way. It's hitting against the top of the, uh, the body. So I'm going to have to trim away some of the top of there now with a file um, so I can get a better steer lock because it's stopping this wheel going full lock. It goes full lock this way, no worries. And then the other way, it hits that point and stops. So I've got about 60% angle the other way. So I'm losing about 40% of the steering. And round uh, Creation Corner and coming through the S's on the Orchard Raceway, it's not a sharp turning the one way. Uh, so I definitely need to sort that out or I need to... Um, well, no, I need to sort that out because I can't faff about with the servo in any way because the wheels now are sort of lined up. There's probably a little bit of um, outward uh, toe, if I'm honest. It's probably... Uh, not so good. If I could get hold of um, some adjustable arms, I might be able to tweak and play around with that a little bit. But hey, look, this is where I've got it to. So I now need to, next step, um, sort that out, give it another run, and then we're on to laying down the rear angle on the shocks. But um, yeah, the improvements aren't actually going quite as well as I thought they would. Um, but that's what many people had said to me is you're probably unlikely to get any more performance out of this. And so far, oh, that seems to be the case. If anything, I seem to be making it slightly worse. Still, we can carry it onwards. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next one. Bye.